Is the real line array loudspeaker still omnidirectional at 1K? Nope. Maybe 90 degrees, maybe 100 degrees. Which means that the energy that is being emitted in this direction and the energy that is being emitted in that direction is no longer equally loud as the energy being emitted in this direction. But there's still energy going to the sides. And your stage <laughs> is <laughs> over here. Well, then this is a lot of energy being projected onto the stage. Anyone that has done musical is familiar with this. There is your center cluster, your vocal array. Here is the artist. Has a, lav has a lavalier microphone sitting on his head over here. And now you have typically around one kilohertz, you have... <laughs> Sounds familiar? Yes, because the array is over there. You have this lateral summation over there, which is being projected over here on your stern. And that is the first frequency, or one of the first frequencies, that typically goes into feedback because you're standing under the array with an omnidirectional microphone. There you have it, above and below. Behind, in comparison to the omnidirectional source, behind there is now less energy than there is over here. Why do I have less energy over there? These are real speakers. These are not perfectly omnidirectional speakers, which means that if this is 120 degrees, then in the back it's probably down by a similar amount. Why do I say a similar amount? Because these colors are pretty much the same. So who has a question about straight array behavior? 